This is gonna suck. What's up, everybody? Dan Harkins, and today I'm bringing you derailed 6v6 TDM team death match with the Riveter shotgun a very bad shotgun that I have run through my unoptimized machine to make it even worse it has almost no range unless you're up close sniffing the dick if you're not you're gonna have a pretty tough time with this gun and I thought it was interesting that the map that I got on my first game with this gun was derailed a, a, a map that favors long-range sniping and I'm taking a shotgun now it certainly can be done now I'm not the person with the skill level to get it done but I understand mentally what I should probably be doing is flanking getting into these buildings and just cleaning them up and keeping myself out of the open but do i do that no i don't because that would be a smart thing to do and i like to do the dumb thing and that's what we're gonna do in this match now i had to speed up a few sections just because there's a lot of running a lot of trying to flank get to the enemies that's pretty much all i'm doing this whole map is trying to get to them i am just running and running and running and running there's just so much running but that's derailed that's wasteland that's a state and i don't hate this map i actually like it even though it plays super slow it really begs the question of, you know, are the remakes of Derailed of a state of Wasteland? And I bring these ones up because they are very big maps. They're not medium sized. These are pretty big maps. A lot of space. And I like big maps. But for some reason, the community over the last few years does, doesn't want these maps, right? They, they want to play Shipment 24-7. If there's uh, rust and shipment, they want to play shipment 24-7. And that's because there's shipment poison that is infesting everyone. And I'm not immune to it. The other day, I found myself playing two hours of shipment. I was like, oh, shit. I need to get out of this mode. I'm, why am I still stuck <laughs> playing shipment? And here's the thing, guys. There's nothing wrong if you like shipment and that's what you'd like. But it seems that's kind of where everyone is tending to go to, to play, right? It, it's shipment. And the reasons are super obvious. There's no camping. Sure, you can try, but you will die. You will die because an enemy will get to you or you will die because the enemy will spawn behind you. It is just a clusterfuck of chaotic bullshit and some people like that others are gonna be of the mind that the, it's just too chaotic there's no sense you just keep dying and they hate it you know what do you do with a map like that but but what we're seeing is that people like these smaller maps you think of meat which unfortunately i only had an opportunity to play once i've not seen it in regular rotation i'm not sure if it even is um but people really like these small maps so does that mean that call of duty should start designing maps to only be tiny i hope not i still want to have these big maps and there's a few reasons why i like big maps one is flexibility now obviously if you have a bigger map it is gonna favor snipers people that go in the back and snipe and if you want to be an old man sniper you can i think that's cool but it almost opens up all the weapon engagements so if you're gonna be a flanky mcflankerson you can you can flank around with a submachine gun a shotgun get close quarters kill people you can do that but it's also great for again sniping that that's what I like about these maps. I might be doing a challenge. Like in this game, I 
you know, obviously I'm using a shotgun. But, you know, if I wasn't doing any specific challenge, I could say, you know what, this is going to be my sniper map. You know, I have a sniper class, and this is when I'm going to pull that map out, uh, map out, the weapon, and just give it a shot. Right? So I like having that. But I like that there are multiple positions of cover, even in those huge, long sight lines. And that's where I think with our prior games, there just wasn't enough cover. So you'd have a nice open area, but very hard to try to flank because you're just out in the open. And your flanking options were very limited, very predictable. And maybe, yeah, they're still kind of predictable even in this game. But I felt like you have much more cover to try to pull that off, especially if you're really good at the game. Not me. Not good. Uh, I mean, who the fuck is taking the worst Riveter and trying to do it on Durrell? Nobody. I, I'm that guy. I'm that guy. You look at the scoreboard, you're like, bro, who the fuck's at the bottom? Why is he doing so bad? <laughs> it's me. But you'll notice I keep that storm ender on me. All right. So, you know, I'm cleaning up. I'm cleaning up any streaks, anything up in the sky. I take care of it. I keep an anti-streak class just in case, you know, maybe I feed them too much. Maybe I'm giving them a buffet. And now I got to deal with a chopper gunner, a VTOL, a helicopter. Who knows? You just clean up after yourselves. That's how I was. That's how I was taught. That's how I was taught as a kid. You make a mess, clean up. And I'd be making messes for my teams all the time. But other people who get rocked, I don't see them taking out those streaks. I see them getting killed. I see them feeding more streaks. So here's a quick tip. If you're not good like me, and you're giving the enemy every streak in the game. Keep that storm under, keep a brewing class, and just clean up. Only takes a few seconds, and you can save your team a whole lot of deaths. So super would encourage you have a class doing that. If you're dying a lot, like me. But thanks for watching. And since I missed last week, I gotta put out another video shortly after this. Thanks guys.